run of the mill. <laughs> I don't know. What does that mean? What is run of the mill? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know, now you know. I'm Victoria and this is my channel. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing my everyday natural makeup look, which is this little ditty right here. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm taking my wet, well it's like damp, um, beauty blender and my, I think I'm saying this right, I might be completely butchering it, but Josie Marin. Vibrancy foundation. I love this stuff so much and yeah, it's just super great because I have naturally like Regular skin, but sometimes it gets dry especially in the summer because I'm outside so much so I'll leave the description in the link below so you guys can check it out. I got mine at Sephora. They don't carry it at Ulta. I think it's only at Sephora. But I mean, I'm sure you can find it online or something. But I'll link I'll link that down below. And it's in this like super cute packaging, which I absolutely adore. I think it's so great. Oh, and mine is in RG60. RG60. It's good stuff. Okay, so next I'm going to use my Maybelline, Maybelline, I don't know what it's exactly called, but it's just concealer, and mine is in the shade Sand, and I've just, I've been dealing, like, since my birthday at the beginning of July, I've been dealing with these dark circles, and I don't know if it's just my mind, like, sabotaging me, because I feel super old, or <laughs> if it's, like, legitimately a thing or like maybe I just never noticed it before I honestly do not know but I'm not about it like for real I'm so sorry, <laughs> like, ooh. <laughs> so after my concealer, I'm just going to bronze a little bit, like a very little bit, because I don't want it to get too matte. I love the way that my concealer, or my um, new foundation is so dewy. I don't want to mattify. So I'm literally just like in the hollows. In the hollows. And then I'm also by benefit using the Coralista, Coralista um, like blush, just very lightly coming up. And this stuff has like a fragrance, which I think is, when I first got it, I was like, oh, that's so cool. It smells so good. But now that I've like used it 500 million times, I'm kind of over it. And I'm like, why does it smell like that? <laughs> like, it's not a bad smell, it's just like, I don't know, it's just weird. But, okay, so, <laughs> I'm so bad at describing what I'm about to do next. So this is the NYX Sculpting Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour Pencil. It doesn't say pencil, but that's what it is. So, it's like a scrolly one. Um, yeah. And mine is in the shade... It's in soft brown, and then the other side had the highlighter is rose. And this is honestly just so easy. Like, 
Um, I ran out of my Anastasia brow product and so I've just been using this and I actually really like it. I think it does a pretty good job because it's so quick and it's just like la la la. Done. But I do wish that it had a spoolie. Like that's the one thing that I'm not a fan of it not having a spoolie because I end up like using my old Brow Wiz one and it would be nice to just have an all-in-one product that just uh, works, you know what I mean? But I can't complain that much because it matches my color and it's super easy. So the last thing I'm going to do is just my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is my holy grail. I use this every single day. It's my favorite mascara in the entire world. And I will show you why. Let me do that. Like, this is, this is what we're dealing with. So amazing. Alright guys, that is going to be it for me today. If you liked this look, then definitely give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I will be doing new videos every week. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!